Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to create a stacked and clustered combination chart in Excel. This kind of a chart is very useful if you want to visualize a multi-dimensional data set in a digestible way. In our example, we have the global sales of two products across four quarters. We also show the breakdown of how much is coming from the US for each product in each quarter. We then also have two additional headings called primary and secondary, and we'll explain these shortly. To start, we select the data, excluding the primary and secondary columns. And then we insert a clustered column chart. We then right click any of the columns and we click change series chart type. We want to show how much of the sales is coming from the US within the overall global figure and include this in the same bar. To do this, we can select secondary axis for both of the US bars. However, as you can see, the axis labels are different. The primary axis has a maximum of 600, while the secondary axis has a maximum of 450. We would like to align them. To do this, we will use these two columns here. What we want to do is find the maximum value within our data set in order to inform Excel what the maximum bounds of both axes should be. Here we can use the max function. And as you can see, it returns 540. We can then use the same for the secondary axis as well. We can then right click the charts click select data followed by add and we can then incorporate these two columns in our charts first primary and then we can incorporate the secondary however we want these values to be invisible this is currently not the case. To do this, we can once again right click any of the bars and then click change series chart type. We can then change the chart type of primary and secondary to line. Now, as you can see, the axis bounds are the same on both the primary and secondary axes, and the primary and secondary values are not showing. Finally, we can make our chart more visually appealing. Firstly, we can remove aspects of the legend, such as primary, secondary, and the US labels, as this will become clear from the shading and the chart title. For the chart title, we can use the value in cell B2. We can apply a slightly lighter shade to the US bars to make it clearer that they're part of the global sales of each product. Finally, let's also remove the border of the chart. So that's how you can create a stacked and clustered combination charts in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.